everyone, Juliet here from Hello Cards and Paper Art for Movie Monday. Hope everyone's had a beautiful weekend. How amazing was that weather? Oh, it was so good. I had all the doors open, especially on Sunday with that beautiful wind. Perfect for drying sheets. I did a big spring clean. It was so nice. I have to say, I think it was a really good um mentally uplifting day um considering you know where we all are with lockdowns um just getting a bit of sunshine and it, it really put a smile on my face so i hope it did you too uh today i thought we might look at a dark background card so i've put together this little beauty just a little fun stripey fun so i'll show you how to make it so I've got this really great die that says happy birthday and all in one number and I've cut it out in stripes and I'm just going to glue that onto my card. So just running glue across the back of all of that. Almost done. Make sure you get every bit, otherwise it won't stick evenly. Okay, I think that's about it. And we'll pop this on. So you want it sort of towards the top of the card. In the center. There we go. And we'll stick that down. Okay. And then... Uh, so I've got this really great box die. So it comes in two different sizes with, uh, and it's an open box. So what you do is you cut that out and it gives you these shapes. Now, if you put that together like this, it looks a bit weird, right? But if you cut off this section like so, Just snip through there and here. Sometimes dies don't do exactly what you want them to do, so that's the versatility of paper. You can just change it. Okay, so I'm cutting this bit off. Then I'm going to glue these together or tape them together like this making sure I've got it around the correct way. Okay, just grab your double-sided and run that across. Okay, leave the backing on. Turn that over. So now it looks a bit more like a box and this section, what you want to do is add some of these to give it the depth we want and then it will actually look like you've got the folds of the lid opening out okay so we'll stick that on just covering that seam making sure you get it in the middle okay see how different that looks it actually looks now like a box and we're going to stick our balloons in down the center but first we've got a few things to do with them so I've cut these out and to give the little sort of um, shine of the balloon an accent I've cut those in white so I'm going to turn this over this is a little trick I do so I stick double sided on the back doesn't matter if it's too big because you can fold it over okay turn it over again grab your scalpel and with really fiddly bits this is a really good way of doing it see so we're inserting these straight onto the tape so they just stick. There's no messing around with glue or any of that. And 
and just just lift those balloons a bit I think if it was red I don't think it would translate as well sometimes they don't play nicely <laughs> there we go all right see looks much better right okay so now what we need to do is take this tape off fold the long ones in and then you want to stick these on make sure you just get over the white a little bit just to add that little bit of support when it's on the page And we're going to sneak that down in there. So take this tape off. I know it all sounds very fiddly, but I promise you it's worth it. I reckon we'll put one there as well. Oops. And there as well. Okay. We tuck this in that seam between the back section there we go and see now you've got cute little balloons sticking out so we take out all take off all our white backs I can hear my son doing a Zoom cooking class. He's making damper at the moment for the family. How nice is that? In the kitchen. He's supposed to be on camp this week. But instead, he's doing virtual camp. I commend the teachers for their coming up with great ideas like virtual camp when they can't really go. Okay, so now I'm going to pop this on, I think, just about here. And there you go. I think that's a really fun one. Thanks, everyone. See you next Monday.